Celebrating our 40th year, the Ceramics Program, known internationally for its leadership in the field, provides a creative studio and laboratory study environment for Harvard students, university faculty and employees, as well as designers, artists, scholars, and scientists from the greater Boston national and international arenas. The program was founded in 1969 by Harvard College undergraduates and became a Radcliffe College program in 1973. It was integrated into the Faculty of Arts and Sciences at Harvard in 1999 when Harvard and Radcliffe merged. Today, 10 Harvard faculty members from many fields serve as advisors. Courses are offered over three semesters at all levels, as well as special events for undergraduates like clay all night parties and workshops for FAS courses and student groups. Complementing the wide range of courses are lectures, master classes, and demonstrations by visiting artists and ceramic symposia involving potters, sculptors, art historians, and archaeologists from all over the world. During a class time, you just might find an 18-year-old Harvard College beginner working next to a Japanese master potter, working next to a neighbor of yours in Alston. A ceramics library, study collection of work made by visiting artists, and studio exhibitions enhance the educational resources. The program also oversees a satellite studio for undergraduates in Quincy House. May and December exhibitions of work created in the studio feature the best, largest, and the most varied selection of contemporary ceramics in the Northeast. The 10,000 square foot studio is based at Barry's Corner in Alston. It has spacious areas for hand building, wheel throwing, figure modeling, slip casting, glazing, materials research, and electric, gas, soda, wood ash, and raku kilns. The Harvard community is fortunate to have had Nancy Selvage as the director of the ceramics program, a position she held from 1978 to 2009. During this time, Selvage produced a large body of public sculpture and mural work, as well as other pieces shown in galleries and museums. She has also written articles and grant proposals, organized many scholarly and hands-on symposia, taught classes at the studio, and attended many residencies. The ceramics program and the greater Harvard community have benefited tremendously from Nancy's tireless dedication to the program and to the arts. One of the ceramics program's most important resources was its long-term instructor, Makoto Yabe. He was a rare blend of master craftsman, inspirational artist, wonderful teacher, and a generous human being. He inspired thousands of students during his long career of teaching at our studio and at many other schools. Makoto Yabe died at home after a long illness on May 23, 2005. His deep and generous reservoir of talents and wisdom continues to inspire students to this day. Makoto once said, as I make my functional pieces, I imagine people I know using them. That makes the process of potting and decorating even more fun. It's a pleasure to make things for people to use, and I feel honored that people enjoy using them in their daily lives. In pursuit of a greener studio practice, the ceramics program launched a joint venture with Noble and Greeno School to construct an efficient and sustainable wood firing kiln with the pioneering kiln designer and builder, Kusakabe Masakazu. The program is committed to using this kiln as an educational resource to inspire a sustainable firing practice among local and regional students and professionals. 